Hey there guys and welcome back to We Know the Devil. For the first week that this game is being played in October, it's truly the Halloween season now. <laughs> Unless you're watching this in the future and it's not October anymore. In which case, um, Merry Christmas? Um, anyways. Uh, thank you so much for the support on the first episode! Oh my goodness, I was not expecting for a relatively outside of Tumblr unknown game. Um, the support has been tremendous. There, was, there were a ton of views and a ton of comments, lots of entries for the giveaway, lots of theories and talking about like who everyone's favorite character was. Uh, there was plenty of that spread around to all three of the main girls. Uh, lots of interesting things to chew on in terms of what might be going on or not going on or... <laughs> so I, I'm really eager to keep going and see uh, if any of these theories turn out to be right. And so excited, in fact, that I am going to sit down and play for as long as I can today. I'm going to record in bulk. And I may release these videos more frequently than I normally release Let's Plays. Since this isn't a very long game and I don't want to keep people hanging on edge for weeks at a time. So, uh, I'm going to record for as long as I can today and release the parts of the recording uh, over the next week or so. Hopefully that should make up for the delays in videos that I had this week. <laughs> so, look forward to that. Um, as for the giveaway itself, I will be picking a winner at the end of this episode. Uh, just so we can move on with the story quicker. Uh, so let's... Let's do it at, I suppose. Okay. As you can see, I have not played since uh, since that first episode, and I've been eager to get enough time to sit down and do this, so let's go in. Uh, load the save file, yes. Okay, so, back in the spooky house. Everyone's all hunkering in. They're about to get started on the long and arduous process of waiting for the devil and planning what to do when... He or she or it shows up, I suppose. We're supposed to sleep in shifts, but no one actually told us how we're supposed to do that. Who can fall asleep in an instant and wake up in an instant, on demand? Not us. Jupiter is bad at waking up, and Venus is bad at falling asleep. Neptune is fantastic at both, on no schedule but her own. One way or the other, sleeping sounds like too much work, so we're not going to do it. This is lagging a little bit, I feel like. If we had one more, we could play Euchre. Is there anything fun to play with three people? No. There's lots of things, maybe. Let's not, though. I miss Euchre. Surely there has to be something better we can do with our lives. Um... I'm very upset at you both. Um, what are the things normal kids are supposed to do in this kind of situation? Like, truth or dare or something? That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. That's a great idea. I guess it's an okay idea. Well, it's not terrible. Great, everyone agrees it was a wonderful idea. Neptune, you go first. Why? Because seniority. Ooh, got a little interesting music just happened there. I thought I heard something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's some synth music. <laughs> I'm oldest, though. Then, because for some other reason. Fine. So, how do you play Truth or Dare? Oh my god, are you for real? You alternate truth or dare, and you go around in a circle, and whoever... <coughs> I need to save you two from yourselves. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, that sounded fine to me. No. <coughs> Everyone shut up and listen to me. If I go first, like you just said, I ask you truth or dare, and then you pick, and then I think of something horrible. Okay? I cannot believe either of you. Oh, wait then. Too late, you already said I could go first. Own it. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh! Oh, truth or dare p choices. Oh my. So, 
I wonder what path I am going to set the rest of this game down on. Because <laughs> we did Venus and Neptune. We haven't done Jupiter and Neptune. Are we going to do each one of them once? Or are we going to like firmly settle down one path at this point? Um... You know what? I kind of... I want to see if I can, like, s go strictly down one path at this point. Because I feel like spreading things out will probably be better for later in the game. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's my theory. So, I'm actually- I'm gonna pick Venus-Neptune, even though we've done that one already. Um, and maybe let's see if we can make this our OTP for our first run. Venus and Neptune, let's go. Fine, you then. Me? Who mm, dare? Seriously? Yeah, is that okay? Your entire camp experience is defined by someone making you do something awful, and you want to pick dare? But you won't, right? Venus. That is the most dangerous thing you have ever said, and it explains everything about why terrible stuff happens to you all the time. Oh. So, do you want to pick something else? Um... But truth is way worse. Truth is just embarrassing, but with a dare you could get hurt, right? See, Jupiter gets it. Would you pick truth too? Absolutely. I don't want to move or do anything, and there's absolutely nothing you can think of to ask me that would be embarrassing. Hmm. I think I still want to pick dare, though. <sighs> I mean... It's kind of like Jupiter said, truth is embarrassing and dares could get you hurt. Getting hurt is way less scary. That's almost pretty clever, but what if I dared you to do something really embarrassing? Well, uh, oh, uh... I could make you wear a skirt or run around the lake or call Group South the worst thing you could think of. These are so boring and obvious too. Think if I had some imagination, Venus. It can get much worse. Oh, 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 Neptune, getting in the personal space there. Oh my. <laughs> Being awful is so trivial. It's easy beyond easy. Should I pick truth then? Tell me who you have a crush on. What's your worst fear? Who do you hate the most? See? This is so easy. Get it? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it doesn't matter which I pick. You're still at their mercy. It's a bad game. I'm sorry, I don't know what to- uh, You can't just apologize. Wait, I got it! I got it! I dare you to not say sorry for the rest of the night. Oh my god. I, I can do that. Can he, though? No, it's perfect. It'll fix something annoying, and this will make everyone's life easier, and all of us win. Is it really annoying? You shouldn't have to apologize for things you don't need to apologize for. Sorry. Oh! Oop, oops. <laughs> so what happens now? Nothing, because this game is stupid and sucks and forget it. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> that's, that's really cute, honestly. <laughs> I like the- I really like the group dynamic. If I haven't made that clear already, I, I love the way these three interact. And I really hate that I'm trying to tear them apart already. <laughs> Alright. So anyways. That was on purpose. Jokes? <laughs> uh, seriously, though, do stop. Alrighty. 10 p.m. I'm. Uh, where are we headed with all this? Oh boy. I'm sorry, Jupiter. I feel like I've sent, I'm about to send you down a terrible path by not picking you. Oh boy. It always seems like the sun will never set until we look up and find it already has. Sirens buzz a little louder now. 
They always buzz louder at night. Ooh. It is kind of Silent Hill-ish almost. This crackling, is that like fire that they have going on there? Or is it just static? No, it's radio static, I think. Let me listen. Oh, it stopped now. Great, as soon as I start trying to listen to it, it stops. I think it was radio static, though. Spoopy. It's too spoopy. Um, anyways. The devil is weak and humans are strong. And that's the way it's always been. Even a kid can kill the devil. All she has to do is try. I'm bored. We should make the rounds, maybe? We should do something else. We should make the rounds. Or we could do something else. Come on, we have to. It might be nothing, but if we don't check, we'll get in trouble. Or die, you know. That, that other thing. Jupiter pulls herself up by her radio. It's long and thin and delicate, but then there's that awful wait at the end. Let's all go. Bring your radios. And leave everything else? Yeah, why not? It's not like anyone's gonna steal it. What if he comes by while we're gone? Hmm, that's true. Oh, who cares? Okay, by he by he coming by, do they mean the devil or the bonfire captain? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to see, I suppose. Captain, a lot probably. Ugh. I, I know. But it's not good for one of us to be alone. That's why there shouldn't be three of us in the first place. This is such a joke. It makes sense for two people to go out and one to stay here. Ugh, yeah, fine. Yeah, we should do something else, actually. Truth or dare again? Oh, come on! After all that, you already convinced me! The sirens are louder tonight. I can definitely hear something. No, forget it. I, I don't want to. Let's just not. He's never gonna know. And tonight's just gonna turn out to be another night where nothing happens, right? I don't want- I don't want to. Let's just stay here. That's what I was saying. What if the captain comes and checks on us? Comes- checks on us. Typos. There really should be another pass in the editing, maybe, when they update this game, if they do. Nah, he's going home with his girlfriend, or whatever she is tonight. W wait, no, whatever she is tonight. He's going home with his girlfriend, or whatever she is tonight. Okay, so that's either like a major diss at his girlfriend, or like... I don't even want to think about what it might mean. Hope hopefully it's the former? Irresponsible. Gross. Whatever. It's so him. He's not going to bother us, and even if he did, we could say we were just totally about to do it, or we already did, and he, how is he gonna know? Oh, cool. Good. Good. That's fine. Jupiter sits down and gently leans her radio against the wall. It's an easy and correct choice to make. It would have been nice to go together, but we can't. So, they're already conflicting against Jupiter a little bit. I wonder if this is because of the choice I made, or if this just always happens. I guess we'll have to see in the next route. We should do the irresponsible thing and stay in the sleeping bags and piles of clothes until we're happy. Ah, here come the sirens. No. Oh, they're loud! They're so loud! God, why won't he shut up? But God has spoken on that unmistakable frequency. Two of us have to go. One has to stay. Alright, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go with it. Gonna go with the, the, the OTP. I'm sorry, Jupes! I'm sorry, Jupes! I'll stay. Okay. This is so unfair. It'll be fine. They won't get me that easily. I'll broadcast from my radio and you'll be able to hear it and come home. It won't be hard. But I don't want to do it. We leave Jupiter swinging her radio and tuning the house radio. Hmm. The trails through the woods are wide and precise. Camp is supposed to be an easy adventure. The minimum expectations are low. Don't walk off the path. Keep the lights on. 
don't let the devil in your heart. Anyone can do that. The music was so loud for a while there. Um, anyways. Well, I guess that didn't work. We were so close, though. We totally could have gotten her to let us all stay. Mm hmm? Oh, I, I know. Sorry. I started trying to convince her we should stay once I realized what you were doing. Mm hmm? She likes being alone, though. So I think she'll be okay. That's fine. It was silly to try. She's too responsible. Do you think she hates us? It's not even her fault she's at the Summer Scouts like it's ours. Ooh, it's their fault. They're oh, that's interesting. Venus, can you shut up? Please? Oh, sorry. Oh, she wasn't supposed to say sorry. Jupiter doesn't hate anyone. She's like an ascetic monk at not giving a shit. People stop walking over her because she doesn't care enough for them to get a rise, and that's the only reason people do that. It's so annoying. Why do you care about what she thinks? I don't know. I think she's cool. I don't want to be a bother. Of course she's cool. She's just all half smile and ah uh, sorry and no one bugs her about e anything ever. Do you not kind of hate that she's so cool? Why? I wish I could be like that. Because it's fake! No one is that invincible. If it hurts you, you should say so. People are supposed to get hurt by things. It's fucked up to not. It's not good for you. You too, Venus. Have a little more self-respect. I know that. It's not like I'm stupid, you know? I worry about her too, you know? Don't you want to at least make stuff a little easier for her? No. I want to make it worse. I want to make it so bad she has to say it. I want to hear it loud. She shouldn't keep living like she's never going to get it off the tip of her tongue. I, I don't think she's ever going to. I really do wish I was like her a little, but still, I'm a little glad I'm not her. I wonder if maybe she wishes she wasn't here either. Maybe. A lot, I bet. Maybe all the time. Do you ever feel like that? Do I ever what? Sorry, I... What, do you? I... I do, yeah. Let's head back. Sometimes... I do too. It's normal. Let's just get over it. Well, that was sweet. And kind of... tension fraught. Hmm. We'll see how this affects how they talk to her when she gets back, I suppose. You can barely hear the sirens anymore, guys. It's fine. Sit still. You're making me crazy. I'm still a little bit worried. It's always like this. The devil always shows up when you least expect it. You two are unbearable. All we literally have to do is chill. You can do that, right? Right? Uh, I can try. Well, not really. God. I should have known. You are both impossible. I'm so glad I brought this. Huh? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, so she brought the liquors. The bottle is half drunk and sticky and smells like- Oh wait, maybe it's not the liquors. I, I should read things before I read them. <laughs> the bottle is half drunk and sticky and smells of paint thinner, sugar, and artificial flavoring. And this is exactly what it is, along with some additives that will shave years off our lives. No need to praise me too much. You can thank me by drinking this until you're no longer anxious and annoying. Wait, so they're drinking paint thinner? Like, and and what- and- what was in that stuff again? <laughs> I feel- This is strange. Oh boy. Don't die, you kids. Don't drink paint thinner. <laughs> That's- I'm- Illegal! That is fine, because either way, I'm gonna drink it until I don't care about how anxious and annoying either of you are. How did 
did you even get that? I traded this fine bottle of pernicious rogue for 20 bucks and my three ugliest shades of nail polish. Aren't I generous? Pernicious rogue, that's an interesting name for that. I haven't ever had alcohol before. Oh god, it hurts just to smell. Are you sure this is something people can drink? Impossible! The both of you, I swear to god. I wonder if there's not something more significant to the fact that Neptune says God all the time. Like, not just the fact that she's probably a teenage girl who would say it all the time, but the fact that they're at a Christian camp, I feel like that's not a coincidence. That it might have something more to do with what they're doing in the game. Not sure what yet, but I don't know. We'll see. Sorry it's not an Italian red, my darling princesses. I also don't have martini glasses or umbrellas either, but I promise you, Adults are lying assholes about alcohol and all this shit is samely awful. What you should be saying is, Neptune, thank you so much for getting some with the chaser already in it, you perfect darling. You're saving us the embarrassment of throwing up after our first shot and you ask for nothing in return but for us to shut the fuck up. You're an angel who doesn't deserve any of this, Neptune. Uh, sorry, <laughs> thank you. Neptune, thank you so much for- Don't get smart with me. I only have two shot glasses, so who's going with me? <laughs> oh, um, do I keep going down the straight and narrow? I'm gonna keep going down the straight and narrow. Even though straight and narrow, maybe not. Because <laughs> as many people in the comments pointed out, and I think you're probably right, I get the feeling that, that Venus is a trans girl, maybe? <laughs> so maybe not- Entirely straight and narrow. So anyways. Venus, you go. Me? Uh, no, really, I, I shouldn't thank you for offering, but I'm... Venus, you are drinking with us. People will get in trouble. It's not allowed. It is illegal and stuff. And oh my god, what are you doing? I think you are having a problem understanding the situation here, Venus. Just by being in the same room with this bottle, you are already an accomplice. You will need to be held just as responsible if we're found out. They won't care at all if you didn't drink. You're already guilty, sweetie. <laughs> so how about you just give in and drink? Well, I... Uh... Besides, Jupiter thinks this is going to kill us, so please prove it won't. This is an important service you're doing. Uh, no promises that I will live. I won't let you if you don't. Cheers. Ow! Oh, this is bad! This is bad! Oh, come on! Can't you at least... Ugh. Ugh. Can't you at least put on a good face? Blah. Thanks, everyone. All my doubts are cleared. Where did she go? Did she wander off to the other side of the room at this point? She was already looking a little stiff there on the right-hand side, not changing expression for a while there. I feel like my stomach is trying to punch me in the face. Be tougher, please. No! I refuse! Utterly! <laughs> what? Are you drunk? Lies! Lies! All of them lies! Venus, you are absolutely teetotally drunk! This is historic. I'm not at all! I'll take another shot and prove it. Somehow. You're completely on. Oh, it's actually worse. I feel nothing. I am a wall. <laughs> there is definitely something significant about my coughing. <clears throat> How does everyone live long enough to get used to this? Ugh, it's crazy. I can't believe you at all. You were so scandalized a minute ago, and yet you are literally the drunkest person in the whole universe right now. You're a jerk, Neptune. You know what your problem is. <laughs> You're gonna 
gonna tell me? Oh, please do, Venus. I am so ready. Your problem is that you hate yourself. <laughs> Duh, Venus. Everyone feels like that. You're gonna have to do way better. No, true, huh? It was something about how, like, you treat hating yourself like a competition. I totally had it. Sure you did, hun. Drink up. Jesus, this is awful. I think I'm warming up to it. <laughs> oh, I'm lying. It feels like death. Oh, but it's nice and sugary death. Oh, my. Probably shouldn't be talking about death on a night where the devil might be coming. I don't care about anything, and it's so great. You know what your problem is? It's that you- <coughs> That you- <coughs> You go- Oh god, oh god, hang on a second. <coughs> I can't- Oh no, what? Wait, what? <coughs> Bath. <coughs> Room. <coughs> I'm the throw. I got you, I promise. Jupiter, come help. No! Oh, just help me! Okay! Oh, Jupiter's not here anymore. Jupiter, like, has conspicuously disappeared, and we probably should have all paid attention more to that. This is so awful. Help me. Why won't it stop? <laughs> It'll be okay. I don't think we drank that much. It's not the... Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, no. I am actually physically starting to hurt a bit in my chest from doing that. I feel like I might hurl myself. Go away, Venus. Go away. No, you have to... Oh, Neptune, what? I said, go away. Neptune, what's going on? I said it's fine. It's a lot... It's a lot worse than you said. It's still fine. I promise. I swear. Venus, I promise I am not lying on this one. I promise. It'll be better tomorrow, okay? We just have to get through it. Please. Please, just... Don't tell Jupiter. Okay. I won't tell her. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm. Venus, your problem is that you are very nice. But you want something. And you think being nice is going to give it to you. But it never will. And until you figure out what it is you want, every kindness of yours will be full of that want. Like mine is. Your problem, Neptune, is... You think being mean is more honest. But you're just as bad as Jupiter. And me. We are bad kids, aren't we? I hope no one finds out. Me neither. Oh, you babies! Why must you tug at my heartstrings? Aww. <laughs> All right, I guess we will finish out on the winner of the giveaway. Um, so if you want to play another route before we get the next video out and figure out the secrets of the game at your own pace, um, well, for one, you can buy the game on datenito.com for six sixty six. That's the best price for a game I have ever heard. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, or you can get a free copy from me, and I'm going to announce who's going to get that copy now. Just get my list up. We have 43 people who entered the giveaway. Holy man. So don't be surprised if you don't get it because you have a lot of competition. Thank you again so much for everyone t for entering. Uh, to everyone for entering, I can talk. I'm going to just get my... I set up a random number generator earlier. I'm just going to get that out. A random number generator from 1 to 43. I've put everyone's names on a list and numbered them in a semi-random order. Uh, so let's see... 
Who wins the free copy? Number 37. Alrighty, so congratulations to Usagi Lover. You are the proud recipient of a free copy of We Know the Devil. I will contact you after this video. Check your YouTube or Google Plus inbox. So thank you again for entering the giveaway. Really, really looking forward to playing the rest of this. I'm probably gonna blaze right through another route after this. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we can get this played throughout sometime within the next week or two. This this whole this whole game, I mean, because I'm I really want to know what's up. I really want to know what's up. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!